now uh, today's lecture i am going to talk about that klein cordon equation is good for spin zero particle uh, or why we are talking about uh, that klein cordon equation is sufficient to describe the behavior of spin zero particle so for this let us consider klein cordon equation p mu p mu and it is psi is equal to m not square c square psi and this can also be written in this way right this is another way to look at this this equation can be expressed in this way or i can re express it as del square 1 by c square curly square by curly t square psi is equal to m not square c square h cross uh to psi right so and this is a way to look at this equation now as i know that it is h cross square is also there right so say this is the equation number 1 now if we try to look at this equation then this equation has only one component this equation has only one component that is psi is a single component also if we recall the spin and if there is a spin s then total number of components it must have it is 2s plus 1 so now for s is equal to 0 2s plus 1 it comes out to be 2 into 0 plus 1 so it is always 1 so that means for spin 0 we must have only one component right that's one thing which we are getting also if a and b these are the two vectors and they are like four vectors then a dot b it can be written as a dot b this is special components of this and this is the time component of this right and it's a dot product of two four vectors and it is always a scalar right so it means if it is a scalar if it is a scalar that means it is a invariant quantity and this is a standard result which i am using so hence i can say that the four vectors represented by del 1 by c curly over t it's a four vector for the given problem means corresponding to p mu that means the quantity del square minus 1 by c square curly this and this is equivalent to del uh, d'alembertian square that means it is a scalar quantity so if it is a scalar quantity what does it mean that it is invariant 
right because it's a scalar product right so that means this must have it is invariant and uh, it is equivalent to this that it must have uh, for s0 it must have only one component that we can say that uh that this klein cordon equation is sufficient to describe behavior of spin zero particle right now let us in the next lecture i will talk about the physical interpretation of this klein cordon equation and this klein cordon equation is not acceptable in the early stages so let us have a look at that in the next lecture so that's all for this lecture